first thing I did was make two bone shapes, one that was completely round and the other one had two bulbs on each end. And all I did was use white polymer clay to mold it. And then I'm gonna get Prosade No Tack and I'm just gonna put some of that at the bottom of the bones I made. And then I'm going to stick it directly over where the bones are on my wrist. And I'm just lightly gonna push that down so it adheres. Once that's done, I'm grabbing third degree parts A and B. And then I'll be mixing in the Makeup Forever Full Cover Camouflage Cream in the shades eight and six. And this is just going to mimic my skin tone. And then once that's finished, I'm gonna start to mold it directly over the bones on my wrist. So I'm just using a spatula just to get all the product on there first. And then I'm gonna go back and smooth out the edges. Next, I'm going to take the European Body Art Alcohol Paints Palette and 99% alcohol. And then on a detailed liner brush, I'm going to go in with black first. And I'm just going to start to create the under layer of the deepest shading for our wound. And then I'm going to be using a mixture of these red colors here. First, I'm going to be going in with the dried blood. And this is the darkest of the reds. And I'm just going to go over the edges where I have previously put the black. I'm then going in with the Fresh Blood, which is the lightest of the reds, and I'm going to be doing that mostly on the outer edges of the wound. So this is gonna give a little bit of brightening effect to it, and also and the illusion of a freshly made wound. Then I'm just going back in with a bit more black just to create more of a rounded off edge and then mixing it again with the dried blood color. And then with the dry blood, I'm just gonna start to very lightly streak it down onto the fake wound. And then grabbing a stippling sponge, I'm gonna dip that into the fresh blood and just stipple all over. Where I've placed the third degree, this is just gonna help blend it in more to my arm and create more of an irritated effect to the skin then also contrasting it with the dried blood as well. And then once that's all blended in, I'm going to take the Mehron Stage Blood in Dark Venuous Blood 
and then I'm just going to put just a tiny amount right underneath the lip of our wound and this is just going to create a slightly more realistic effect. Once that's all stippled in, the look is complete. 